Most important habit. Let's break this down. We can talk one of the tools here. Uh, the use of what I call mementos, which is kind of a fancy word for like visual reminders. But it could be anything. It could be a quote written on a piece of paper. It could be a picture of something. Anything visual that will remind us of what it is we're trying to do, the importance of what we're trying to do. But it's when we are sore, tired, beat down, cranky, that's when, that's when these things really have their value, but they already have to be pre-positioned. The mirror in my bathroom, on my visor in my truck, on my desk at work, in my locker at work. You know, a lot of times it's just like a picture of my family. It's a picture of my wife and, and my kids. Like that will always be a reminder, a powerful one of like, get up and go because you owe them this. And when if things have gotten really hard, dive school in particular, prepping for dive school when I was just beat to shit every day, was I would actually put a, one of these visual reminders on my phone at night because that was my alarm clock. So alarm clock goes off at like zero three. I have to physically get past this barrier, this reminder to hit that snooze button. And it was just, a, it, I still have it. It's, it's a picture of the dive bubble, which is the insignia you wear on your uniform once you've completed that course. Hit the snooze button, it's only an extra 20 minutes. I'm doing trigonometry on how I can sleep an extra 20 minutes because our excuses are most convincing when we're tired and when we're weak and when we're hungry, all that. I had to physically get past this dive bubble to, to do that. That is a habit that I strongly recommend. But again, man, it's worthless if you don't position them in place prior to needing them.